Hi, I'm Philip with Stellar Lens Productions, and uh, today I'm doing a quick tutorial because someone had the question of how um, I textured the helicopter on my helicopter video. So to answer the question, first of all, yes, I did texture it in um, Element, but um, I didn't create the textures. The textures came with the helicopter. So in the folder you get when you download, you have all these textures here like fuselage, um, on the landing lights and all these other things and you kinda just need to figure out where they go on the helicopter I have a saved uh, model over here of the one that I put together of that helicopter so here it is um, after I put in and figured out where all the textures went um, this is what I did and you can figure out where what goes by kinda clicking on different things um, finding out what turns on what and um, that's a real good way of uh, figuring that out so anyway let me get rid of this and um, we'll go back to the non-textured helicopter. So all you got to do is with with the um, whichever part you're going to texture first selected. Uh, once you have that selected, you're going to come down to the materials, and uh, you want to find out which one does what. So let me click this off, and that's the main portion of the body. So I'm going to select that, come up here to where the diffuse um, portion is, and then I'm going to come to my uh, pictures here where it has the fuselage and this is the folder that I downloaded uh, from the free uh, download and we're just going to drop it on to the diffuse and now it has covered the fuselage so uh, that's pretty much done there's a little there's a few things like the lights and things like that which you might want to go through and click on but um, then if we come through here uh, we click the layers on and off to find out what does what um, we can see that the windows are right there and you can kind of use whatever you want. So I'm gonna come over to the presets and just uh, pick one. I'm gonna pick the shiny. I'm gonna drop it onto that texture. I'm gonna turn it back on and it's, uh, you can see it's completely black, but if I come down to the force opacity option, um, you can make that see through however you want. And then the pilots have their own texture layer in there as well. And so we see here the pilots are uh, part of layer 32 and so if we come into our folder again with our um, textures um, we can kinda look through and figure out which one does what so I think PLT that should probably stand for pilot yeah there's the faces and the helmet so we'll uh, drop that on let's move this up so we can see the diffuse and we'll drop that on to the diffuse and there they are now um, some of these free uh, models come with other things like the specular or the uh, normal bump um, I'm not a 3D expert. I'm just figuring this out one step at a time by trying things. So I don't really know very much about these at all. All I know is I put things on and uh, I'm still learning too. But for now, um, if you didn't know how to texture it in the first place, if the model you downloaded came with them, this is how you do it. You select the material layer and then you drop the image into the diffuse. That's the main um, overlay for the texture. And then if it has a specular version or a bump or illumination, you can drop those into those and mess around with the settings and see what you, uh, what you can come up with. And so when we're done, there it is. And you just basically will do the same thing with the propellers and uh, that's about it. Once again, I'm Philip with Stellar Lens Productions. If you have any questions or want any tutorials made, just let me know and I'll try to get one made as quickly as possible. I'm learning this uh, one step at a time. I know nothing about 3D, so if I can do it, um, anybody can do it. So uh, good luck.